Hi, it's Miss Stewart, your vocal music teacher. Today we're going to explore the vocal warm up, Mommy Made Me Mash My M&Ms. But before we do that, let's remember why vocal warm ups are important. Before an athlete exercises or runs really fast, they warm up their muscles by stretching. Before we do a lot of singing, it's important to warm up our vocal muscle, the vocal cords. We do the same thing. It's also important to bring awareness to the breath. Our breath supports our singing. So a couple quick reminders. Your posture is important when you're singing. The way you hold your body. Think about taking the biggest breath you have all day. Your lungs have to have a lot of space to fill up with air. So what kind of posture would allow for the biggest breath possible? Hunched over like this? Or sitting tall like this? That's right. We want to sit or stand nice and tall to allow the lungs a lot of space to fill up with air. Okay, we are ready for Mommy Made Me Mash My M&Ms. Don't forget to take deep breaths. I'll count to four before we begin. That's a great time to begin inhaling through your nose. Posture check, and here we go. One, two, three, four. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. ending for the last time is I cried. So mean. How dare she make us mash our M&Ms. Anyways, moving on. We are going to do this warm up Green Lake style now. Normally in the classroom, I choose a student to name a teacher or an adult who works at Green Lake. So today let's use my name, Miss Stewart. Stuart starts with S. So now we'll pick a candy to replace M&Ms and an action, a verb, something we do to the candy to replace mash. Both of those words have to start with S. So let's start with the candy. I'll choose Skittles. Next we choose the verb. The action. What are we doing to the Skittles? I will choose the word smash. So mommy made me mash my M&Ms becomes Miss Stewart made me smash my Skittles. Here we go again. Check your posture. Sit or stand nice and tall. Take deep breaths. Inhale through your nose. One, two, ready, go. Miss Stewart made me smash my Skittles. Miss Stewart made me smash my Skittles. Breath. Miss Stewart made me smash my Skittles. Miss Stewart made me smash my Skittles. Don't forget to breathe. Now this last time, 
you get to choose. Uh, you get to be creative and choose a teacher's name, a candy, and a verb. What did they make you do to the candy to somehow destroy it? Okay, don't forget that each of those words you choose need to begin with the same letter as the person's name. Um, have fun with this too. It doesn't have to be a teacher. Uh, it Maybe you can create um, some words revolving around the name of someone that lives in your house. Um, for example, my husband's name is Christopher and his name starts with a C, but you could also choose something that starts with a K sound since K -K Christopher starts with that hard C or K sound. Christopher made me crush my crunch bar, for example. Okay, now you choose. Who's the person? Okay, next. What's the candy? A name of a candy that starts with the same letter as that name. Lastly, what's the verb? What's the action word? Put it all together. I'm not going to sing it with you because I don't know the words that you chose. I'll hum along and continue to play the piano. Okay, here we go. Sitting or standing, tall posture, inhale on the count of four. One, two, three, four. this warm-up before you do a lot of singing. Okay, we did it. See you next time. Bye.